Um, hello everybody. Uh, as uh, most of you know, we got the sad news uh, that they passed away on um, Sunday. And uh, I'd just like to say, rest in peace, Dave Courtney. Uh, this is a little message for you, wherever you are, you will always be in our thoughts. Uh, Mr Courtney, you, what a character. Um, irreplaceable. Um, a lot of people liked you, a lot of people didn't like you. Exactly the same as me, you know, right? But we carried on, and then I think a lot of people don't know, I met you in 1989. Uh, to 1990, was when you walked into the Paradise Club. I remember that very first night with Jenny and her sister, the twins, and a couple of people. I thought, oh, here we go. Um, and you know, I've got the security down there, and walked in, started talking to her, and I thought, you know what, he, he ain't a bad fella. And then over the years, you know, through the rave scene, being in different in the club at the same times, you know, you, you always had your people mm. with mine, never no conf confrontation, always polite, a, a gentleman, uh, and said good things, the right things, and vice versa. But what people don't realise, you you're the original celebrity gangster. If if, if you say that that word gangster, I, I don't like the word, but. Uh, you started it off before everybody really, um, and brought it like to the telly, the documentaries. You know, you you could sometimes I thought, oh, he's been a bit over top. But now I realise the character you invented. You invented Mr. Dave Conley, and no one will replace that. Uh, you've taught me over the years, um, believe it or not, and people don't know this. You was the one that talked to me to get into books, to write my story and tell my story and do the audiences. And, and you know, I've been doing them for 16 years and you you started it. You was one of the first on the road, the, the stories, telling the, the crime stories and people were coming along and this is that. And, and then over the years, we, we, we've done a lot of shows together. You know, we've been to Scotland, we've been to Wales, we've been to, flown to Northern Ireland. We uh, did that. I'm glad we, I did that podcast here a few months ago uh, because I don't know if it's one of the last ones you've done. And for us to get together, and I hadn't seen you for a long while. I went through my own demons and my own problems. And it was good to do that podcast. It, it made me realise, you know, uh, how well we've always got on and bounced off each other. And we've had some great shows and some funny times and seen some funny things on our travels. Um, yeah, and so really, and I remember the premiere of The Rise of Foot Soldier, you know, and when you come out and you went to me, and you didn't have to, no jealousy with you, never, never anything like looking down or get the ump or anything, you went to me, wow, what, this is what, what you, that's amazing what you've done here tonight, to be the, be the, like, start that franchise off from the book muscle, which, uh, another thing, you pushed me into it, like, say pushed me, you advised me to, to get involved in it, about my lifestyle, and always, always put a smile on my face, you know, especially when any, anything to do with the football violence net, you know, like, uh, you talk about the firm and how many people, and you go, and you go see this, him, him there, he'd go, he make a phone call, and he'd have 500 football hooligans there, he said, and they'd pay their own way, and just go for a fight, he said, and turn up. Um, always cracked, uh, like, all the audience together, do you know? And, and when I'd done the audiences with you, you made it a lot easier for me to to do a, a show. Um, I want to thank you for that. Um, and I know you was in a lot of pain, and what you did, I would have done exact same. And I would do, because don't forget, as we, we get older, our illnesses and things like that make us vulnerable to the general public and, and targets, I think. And I think you know that as well, and I know that. So uh, you was, I, I would have done exactly the same as you, Dave. And it was a strong decision, seeing as you made that video prior to that and waited all that time, then then obviously took your life, you know, and it's a shame. But you, I know you would have, you've been in a lot, a lot of pain, and that's why you've done it. All I want to say is goodbye, Dave. Uh, you will always be in my thoughts, and thank you for everything you've done to help me become the Colton Leach I am as well.